Okay guys, it's been a while since I've made a video, but I did a little research on YouTube looking up new operating systems for the Commodore 64. And I found something that uh, really blew my mind. And so we're gonna get into it. Okay, for this review, I'm gonna be using my original Commodore 64 bread bin, all stock components with the SD2 IEC and a fast load cartridge to make everything run a little faster. So let's get into this. Okay, I have a fast load installed in Commodore 64 and I have File Browser 64 loaded on my SD2 IEC just so we can get through the menus a little faster here. So the operating system that I found that I think is just completely awesome is GUI 64. I was watching YouTube and ran across Web Fritzy's channel and he was nice enough to send me the latest copy of the operating system, so we're gonna test it out. So this is the one that looks a little more like Windows, maybe 3.1. On the bottom, you got the Commodore symbol as a button. You have settings and back to basic here. As you can see, you can change the tiles and uh, menu colors. You can also change the background to either a dotted or a solid color. And this is the part that really blew me away. Even on Mac OS 9 and earlier, they had a wire frame when you'd move the windows around. Okay, and this is pretty smooth for a Commodore 64, just really impressive. And then as far as getting into your disk drives, you can see there's a menu here with the icons on the side that show you what kind of file it is. And you also have a, a menu system up here at the top. Uh, one of the things that he showed that's a uh, new feature is that you can change the device number from here. <clears throat> you can also format, rename, uh, close, of course, and, and this is just really awesome here. This gives you a lot of uh, functionality where you can make new files, cut, copy, paste, delete, all the normal things you can boot from a, a file. And if you want to see the file sizes, come over here to view and click file sizes. You can turn that on and off, turn off uh, lower and uppercase should probably come in real handy for me for some of my files I have in here uh, because <clears throat> uh, sometimes you can't read what it says like some of these indie games that I have loaded in here sometimes I can't read exactly what they are you also have uh, info here so Web Fritzy is the guy that created this operating system. You can see here it was last done here in uh, 2025, and this is version 1.9. But this is just really, really smooth and functional. And I can't wait to see further updates. Uh, I've been waiting for this kind of operating system for 40 years and it's awesome to finally see somebody did it. So now I'm going to show you the other version that he has that looks more like a Macintosh operating system. As you can see the title bar is up here on the top now with the clock and you have uh, an about section here which i didn't see on the other menu <clears throat> so 
one of the cool things about this uh, operating system is like with the Mac, you can double click the the title bar and it'll shrink and grow. And you can also drag the corner down here and make the window bigger or smaller. And of course, again, dragging it around in a way that just wasn't possible on early Mac operating systems, which shows that the Commodore 64 had somebody developed this in, you know, the 80s would have definitely been able to compete with Apple and Windows and uh, really shows the power that Commodore 64 really has. Again, you have the same file menus here. this is really awesome you can also launch applications from here so I'm going to show you uh, some that web fritzy created that I'm really impressed by one of the main ones is fritz out I really really enjoy this game so I'll be right back I'm gonna plug in my game controller and then I'll show you this uh, game Okay, now that I got my game controller, let's see what we can get into. And this is one of the other features I really like, this uh, bar that shows you the progress of the file loading. You never had that before with Commodore. You're just sitting around waiting, wondering, when is the file going to load? Well, here you have the ability to see graphically how much time's left. And here's the game. I'm sure you can tell which game this is modeled after. It has good sound uh, for me to play and look at the phone. <laughs> but yeah, really, really well done game. Another little operating system with games included the uh, web prints he made is called Win Games, and here I have it as a disc, and I'll put links to all this stuff in the uh, description. So if we start Win Games with a joystick, you'll see this one definitely looks a lot like Windows. I guess I should have started it with a mouse. And you have some of the games that typically came with the uh, Windows operating system. And they're really, really well done. It's, it's really nice to be able to play some of these games like this uh, on the Commodore 64. Games that previously you would have only been playing on Windows. And then with this one, when you're done playing the game, you can come up here to game, go to exit, and it goes right back to the Windows looking operating system. Very, very, very cool. So now I'm gonna talk about a few features that I'd like to see in uh, future releases. Like I showed in the Mac version, this had an about on this menu. I'd like to see that. Um, these icons, you can't drag them around. It'd be cool if they were like sprites that you could control by dragging. I'm not sure how hard that would be to add in here. And maybe you could have extra icons for links to games like you would on a, uh, any other operating system. And also maybe a menu in here as a link to games in the folder or on the disk of this operating system or on the cart because there's also a cart image that you could use but it'd be neat to have that kind of stuff included where you could add your own shortcuts in here just like you would on any other operating system and I believe he's making the clock to where you can sync it with a real um, real-time clock in one of the um, cartridges that are out which would be really cool have it update and possibly keep the true time 
but uh, overall, this is uh, absolutely excellent implementation of a, a operating system, a GUI for the Commodore 64, and I look forward to seeing more of what Web Fritzy comes out with. So this is Web Fritzy's GitHub page. This is where you can come to find the applications. And as you see over here on the left, below the picture is an excerpt showing some of his past and where he went to school. And over here in the middle, you've got links to his projects. And the one we're gonna check out today is GUI 64. So when you click on that link, you come into the repository and here you can get the binaries and the code and a little description of what this project is. Uh, GUI 64 version 1.9 is current. Uh, then he talks about binaries and the code and some links to resources to work with the code. And this is where I got the idea that he's gonna be working with the Ultimate 64 uh, cartridge to get the real-time clock. So, I'll leave the link to this page in the descriptions, and this is where you want to come to get the files and try it out for yourself. Very good resource for all of that. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.